Okay. So, congratulations on winning the Bantam of the Week award. Uh, Kush, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to Trinity to play squash? Yeah, it's been a four year journey. College career is almost over. This is the last semester. And I never knew about Trinity. I knew about the legacy, how Trinity has been winning lots of squash nationals title till now at 17 and there were few players from India who went to Trinity and they came and they were like, hey Kush, you know, you should really go to Trinity Institute, it's such a prestigious, prestigious institute in the America. So that's how, I, that's how I knew about Trinity and I, you know, I'm enjoying every moment over here. Um, Bria, how about for you in basketball? Um, I had never heard of the school before, but once they like had watched my games during the tournament, they reached out to me and I started researching them. Um, can you tell us what it's like as your first season as a college athlete? Um, it was an adjustment at first, you know, battling like schoolwork and having practice, lift times. But so far I think I've done pretty well. Um, because your college squash career has just six weeks left. Um, can you tell us what your career meant to you and now that the four years is almost over? I never knew about the college squash, how it works, how nine players works. I only knew about individual sport as a squash because, you know, I was never very familiar with the college squash rules and, you know, how it works. So it's been an extremely good journey so far. And this is my last semester, six, six more weeks to nationals. And I hope as a team, we do as a great job finishing a great, great year you know, at Harvard. That's the goal for now. And I'm trying to enjoy every moment at Trinity College for last college season. Um, Bria, you've been Trinity's top scorer in just your first year. Um, what do you attribute your success to? If there's anything? Um, probably with my teammates and my coaches. They help a lot. Um, you know, like setting up the plays, and we all work together. Um, so, could she get to play and practice with some of the best college players from all over the world? Um, why do you think Trinity Men's Squash is able to attract such talent to Hartford? <laughs> the way we recruit players all around the world and compete with them. I mean, I knew most of the college squash players before I got to Trinity, so I'm really friendly with them. And the way Trinity is able to attract all around the good squash players all around the world and from India as well, the way the legacy has continued for last 17 years, probably 23 years, and it's been a, one of the prestigious co college in the U.S. about when it's come to squash, and Trinity is all about squash when you ask them about anything, you know, it's all about, oh, squash, Trinity squash, you know, that's why you want to go there, so it's been a great journey, and that's why we have been able to recruit good the squash player from all around the world. Um, <clears throat> Bria Trinity is in a great position to qualify for postseason and make a run at the NCAA tournament. What do you think are some keys for the team to continue, uh, continue its success in the postseason? I think some keys are to keep working, you know, lifting and getting shots up, practicing, and like really focusing on like our mistakes and like perfecting them. We can do better next year. Um, Trinity has been ranked number two in the nation all year. Uh, what do you think are some keys for the Bandits to challenge Harvard for number one? It's been, uh, since the time I have got here, it's been almost four years. We have pre-season and in-season, we have never been number one seed. And it's always good to be number two, you know, so we have nothing to lose. We go all out and we are not scared. We are looking stronger than last year. So it's been a challenge, you know, obviously we won't beat Howard at the Nationals, at Howard, that will be a good outcome as a team. So that's why all my teammates and coach, and the coaches and the physios are working hard to get us ready and compete at the Nationals. Um, so this question is for both of you. 
Um, your vote now Bantams of the Week. When you first heard that the Bantam was our mascot, what did you think it was? Um, I, I really don't have the perfect answer for this, but whatever. Yeah, I didn't really know what it was either until I got here. I had never heard of like a Bantam, let alone that it was a chicken. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for your time and congratulations again. Thank you.